Hey guys, welcome back to another empowering technology tutorial. In this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to implement the column feature within the Helix 2 template. Um, so without further ado, let's just jump right in and log in to your Joomla website. I'm already logged in to the back end of my website. and Basically, this is what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna show you guys how to implement this. Um, and it's just some real basic um, coding. Nothing, nothing too fancy or too complicated. And this right here is the code that you're gonna use. <clears throat> Starting with row ID equals row ID and class equals row class and then on down. Now keep in mind that when you're using the column feature, you can span a total area of 12. So as you see, I have three span fours here, totaling 12, right? So if we go to my web page, this is what it's going to look like. <clears throat> Excuse me. And you know, I have three different sections here including a button that I'm using in one of the span sections. And then down here I redid the, um, the code again just to kind of show you how the layout you know will look. So with a total number of 12 you could actually do um, you could do four span threes or you could do you know, a span two span sixes, or a span eight and a span four, or a span ten and a span two, just whatever you know totals up to equaling twelve, and how you want the layout to look. So you know, you could have one area that's a little bigger and one that's a little smaller, you know, to make your web page a little more unique. Again, this is the code that you're going to want to use and make sure that you close out your tag with the row tag um, and you can use this inside of you know the actual content area of your page or a module on one of your pages however if you do use this inside of a module make sure that you go into the options and you turn on prepare content if you don't it won't work I'm actually using it in my content area on my home page so you don't need to worry about it when you're using it there and this this goes for any of the extra hard-coded features that you implement in the helix 2 template if you use it in a module always 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 have to turn on prepare content um, that's it for this tutorial pretty simple pretty uh, straightforward and self-explanatory again right here's your code and I will put that up at the bottom of this tutorial if this helps you out in any way please give it a quick thumbs up if you haven't already done so subscribe to my channel um, a lot more Joomla stuff to come um, a lot more helix stuff to come so thanks for watching have a great day and we'll see you in the next tutorial